Welcome to the YouTube channel of Southwest Airlines. Today, we're going to be discussing the airline's financial results for the first quarter, and looking ahead to the possibility of a profitable second quarter. As you can see behind me, Southwest Airlines flight is coming in to land at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas. As we look towards the first quarter, Southwest Airlines reported a total loss of $159 million. In the final days of December, the airline was forced to cancel more than 16,000 flights due to staffing issues in dealing with the severe coast-to-coast -coast winter storms. The result was a $325 million revenue impact in the first quarter, dwarfing their expected loss of 23 cents per share. Their total revenue for the quarter also did not meet estimates, coming in at $5.71 billion as compared to the expected $5.73 billion. This was still an impressive 21.6% increase from the same quarter last year, when the airline had lost $278 million. Looking ahead to the second quarter, Southwest Airlines warned of further headwinds due to a higher than normal amount of flight credits issued during the pandemic that are expected to go unused. The airline expects revenue per available seat mile to be down 8 to 10% from the same period last year, with a capacity increase of 14%. The higher than normal amount of flight credits is not the only factor facing the airline in the second quarter. Costs are expected to be up 5 to 8 percent, including wage accruals for labor contracts currently being negotiated. However, Southwest Airlines has indicated that they expect to remain profitable in the next quarter. Southwest Airlines believes they can continue to fly successfully while navigating the pandemic. They invite everyone to join a call with analysts on Thursday to discuss their results and outlook. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel. To stay up to date on all Southwest Airlines news, be sure to check back to our channel for more videos.